And let's bring in Amy Kuata now. She is live breaking down the steps being taken locally to prepare for any problems ahead of the inauguration. Now, Amy, we do know that Governor Larry Hogan declared a state of emergency today, right? Yeah, that's right, Denise. Well, Governor Larry Hogan says there are no specific and credible threats to Maryland right now. Law enforcement agencies are still prepared, and you can expect extra security from our state house all the way here locally in Baltimore. With growing concerns about potential attacks on state capitals ahead of President elect Joe Biden's inauguration, steps are being taken to ramp up security at Capitol buildings across the nation, including Maryland. And that is why it's essential that we have this uh, security uh, to protect. Uh, our democracy to protect the inauguration uh, events. As a response, Governor Larry Hogan declared a state of emergency in Maryland on Friday. Under the order, state officials are allowed to activate emergency operations plans, and the Maryland National Guard is being called to active duty. 1,000 members will be present in Washington, D.C., to aid in security efforts on Inauguration Day. Extra security will also be in place at the State House complex. Maryland Capitol Police, along with Maryland State Police and other law enforcement agencies will have new and enhanced efforts around the Annapolis government campus. Those measures include additional officers, extra identification screening, and access limitations. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says 26 Baltimore police officers will be headed to D.C. next week. It's a parade assignment on Pennsylvania Avenue, very low impact. Here in Baltimore, Harrison says the department will be ready should any demonstrations happen locally. We have protocols in place and we've adjusted manpower to make sure we have sufficient coverage to make sure all of our city buildings are safe. And the state of emergency in Maryland will be in effect until Thursday, the day following the inauguration. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.